Hey there folks, Graham here and welcome to the channel. Have you ever wanted to capture multiple camera angles all at the same time in OBS? So for example, this camera I'm on here, or this camera over here, or this camera pointing here, or maybe this camera pointing over here, and then combine them all together like this, or this, or maybe even this. Well today, I'm going to show you how. I've achieved all of this using the following equipment. A Logitech C920 HD webcam, a Zoom Q2N 4K, an iPad, and an iPhone. Also, with a little bit of help from an app called IV Cam, which allows me to turn the iPad and iPhone into webcams that I can feed to my PC. So how does it all work? Well, feeding in the C920 webcam is pretty simple. It's just plugged into the PC via USB and it shows up as a video source automatically in OBS. The Q2N is a little bit more complicated as effectively it's a standalone video camera, but it also has a webcam functionality. So I plug it into the computer via USB, put it into its webcam option, and then it too appears as a video source in OBS as if it were a standard webcam. But the iPhone and the iPad are a little bit more difficult. You can't just plug them in with a USB cable and feed the picture to your PC. That doesn't work. And they have no webcam option on them like the Q2N does. So what you'll need is a third party piece of software. Having tried out various different offerings, I settled on IV Cam. It allows me to run any iOS device or indeed any Android device as a webcam to my PC, effectively turning your phone or your iPad or your Android tablet or phone into a high definition webcam. A note of caution here, IV Cam is only available for Windows users, but I'm pretty sure there are similar apps and software out there for Mac users. With IV Cam, I can connect my devices either wirelessly or by USB, the latter being preferred for stability and best picture quality. And the beauty of IV Cam, and the reason why I went for that one, is that you can run multiple instances of it, so you can effectively have as many iOS devices as you want connected at the same time. So how do we go about actually setting up IV Cam with the iPad and the iPhone? Let's go into a little more detail. First of all, you'll need to go over to the E2E Soft website and download the client software for IV Cam. I'd recommend the full edition that comes with a few extra bells and whistles like background removal, etc. And also, once you've finished installing and setting all of this up, it's best to register and get a license, which is about $10 a year, which removes any watermarks, etc. and gives you all the full functionality. Once you've downloaded the client software onto your PC, the next thing would be to go over to the App Store and download the IV Cam app onto your iPhone and iPad or whichever device you may have. So I've got the IV Cam client software downloaded onto my PC and you'll see I've got the program on my taskbar here and if I go to the system tray you'll see a little greyed out icon here for E2E soft IV cam saying that it's not connected. If I right click that icon in the system tray and go to preview I get this screen saying that IV cam is waiting for a connection. In order to then connect the iPad to my PC as a webcam I just need to open the IV cam app on the iPad and there you can now see the live feed from my iPad. And if I go back to the preview screen on my PC, you can now see that the live image from my iPad is being fed through to the PC. And if I want to connect a second device, all I need to do is open another instance of IV Cam. So if I go down to my taskbar, right click and open IV Cam in my system tray, you'll see a second icon appear in a second and I have another uh, preview screen coming up showing IV Cam hashtag two. So each time you open a new instance, each of these will be numbered. So you'll be able to remember which one is attached to which device. Like before, this is now just waiting for the connection. So if I go over to my iPhone and open up the IV Cam app on there, it'll automatically connect to the PC. So I've just opened up the IV Cam app on my iPhone and as you can now see, I have the live feed from my um, iPhone 
going into the PC. So now we've got all four cameras feeding into the PC. We've got the C920 webcam, we've got the Q2N 4K, and then we've got the iPad and iPhone connected using the IV Cam app. So now let's look at how we bring all these together into OBS. Effectively, what I've done in OBS is to use the scene functionality. So down in the left hand corner here, you'll see the scenes, and I've set up an individual scene for each one of my cameras. WC for webcam, Q2N, iPad and iPhone. In order to set up a new scene, you just click on plus and give a name to your scene. Once you've added your scene, you can then add different things to it in terms of video sources and audio sources. So for example, for the webcam scene here, if I go over to my sources, I've got my webcam as my video input capture. I've got my microphone and guitars. I've got my Bigfoot microphone that I'm talking to you on now, and I've got my synthesizers coming through the audio interface, and they're all the different audio inputs. In order to set up any video capture devices or audio inputs, all you need to do is go to plus at the bottom of sources, and you'll get the list here. You can choose, for example, your video capture device, and then choose the source, and the sources will automatically be listed. So in here, I've got my iPad, my iPhone, my Q2N, and the C920 that I can choose from. Likewise, I've set up a similar scene for the Q2N webcam with that as my video capture device, and then a separate scene with the iPad as the video capture device, and then another scene with the iPhone as the video capture device. Then to get the four cameras set up like this is pretty straightforward. All I've done, if you look down in the right hand corners of the sources, I've added four video capture devices. So I've got the iPhone, the iPad, the webcam, and the Zoom Q2N, all as video sources within one scene. Once you've done this, you'll have all four images on the screen. As you can see, if I click on each one, you can move them around the screen and you can display them however you want. So for example, if I wanted to have uh, both ones of me over one side and the synths over the other side. I can just simply swap them or if I want to move that one back, move this one over. So I can pretty much have them in any layout that I want. You can size each of these boxes manually or if you right click on a box and go to transform and edit transform, you can then put in the dimensions of the image that you want. For example, here, the overall resolution is 1920 by 1080. So I've set each box to be 960 by 540. So half the dimensions, which effectively means that each image takes up a perfect quarter of the screen. I then set up a couple of other scenes like this one here with just sort of me on the left hand side and then synths on the right hand side. Another scene here with the overall studio over on the right hand side and the two synth, the iPad and the iPhone cameras on the left hand side. Or indeed I can do things like this. I could have it focused in on a certain synthesizer and a picture of me down in the bottom talking about that synthesizer or talking over me doing a demonstration on that synthesizer. So as you can see, it's really flexible and it allows you to have multiple cameras focused on wherever you want in the studio so that they're always shooting. You haven't got to keep moving cameras around. You haven't got to shoot loads of extra bits of footage and then edit them all together. You can literally just do it all on the fly. So that's it. That's how you turn this, 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 and this into this, 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 or maybe this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and I will do my best to answer all of them. Or indeed, if you just want to leave any other comments, please feel free to do so, as all feedback is gratefully received and greatly appreciated. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell, as it really does help me to grow the channel and continue to produce content like this for you. Anyhow, that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. I've been Graham. Take care and catch you later. <music>